Can we really have free energy that is surrounding us at all times? Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. I'm going to talk to you about some pretty technical things today in my video. I want you to keep up, and if you don't understand something, make sure you ask a question down below. I'll be happy to answer it or direct you to a better explanation somewhere else. I will try and explain it in detail. Sit back and relax. This might be a little bit long. Today I'm going to talk about free energy and I'm going to talk about a notion that anybody who tries to do research on superconductivity and super and quantum levitation, they immediately start discovering free energy. And why is this? Because the theory is that energy surrounds the universe. What we call air, what we call space, what we call vacuum is not air, space, vacuum. It's something that scientists are, have now termed the Higgs field. Think of it like this. Uh, water is like the Higgs field. There are, we know, everybody knows about the the particles of an atom, uh, one particle is called an electron. So everybody's familiar with that. There is a more massive particle that we know of that is called a top quark. Everybody is familiar with the electron. The top quark, which is said to be so massive, actually is not larger in size. It's the same exact size as an electron. The top quark is massive because it interacts with the Higgs field more so than the other particles that we know about. So it is far more massive than the electron in that it interacts with the Higgs field. Think about it like this. Water consists of countless molecules of H2O. If you're thrown into water, you know that you are in water. The Higgs field is made up of a countless number of Higgs boson. And we don't know what the Higgs boson is. We have no idea what it is. We are in the Higgs field. Like a fish doesn't know it's in water. All a fish knows is that it's in its environment. Uh, a, a fish has no idea of what water is assuming that fish aren't some sort of alien beings and that they have some sort of super intelligence and they just don't want to talk to us but assuming the world is as we think it is fish are in water they have no idea that they are in water think about this a barracuda which is very streamlined in water as it moves through the water it has very little interaction with the water and can zip through water at, at top speed a big fat man, a big fat hairy man uh, getting into water and trying to swim interacts with the water a lot and can't zip around the water uh, like a barracuda can. We all see that we all see in the movies and TV shows like uh, the, the old 70s shows, what was it, Aquaman or, or something like that and he could do his little flipping thing, flip his old body, and he was a part mermaid or something like that, and he could zip through the water. That's because he doesn't interact with the water as much. The electron zips through the Higgs field because it doesn't interact with the Higgs field that much. The top quark, however, does interact with the, both of the Higgs field a lot, and therefore it is massive. We can verify that the top quark is massive, but we don't know what it is interacting with. Now, when we get to the only way that we can know that the Higgs field even exists uh, is because they see it in the interaction of particles like the top quark. When you get to superconductivity and you're doing studies on superconductivity, you notice that a field ar around it changes and things like gravity is completely eliminated when it's in that superconductive field. You can levitate objects in the field and the reason this is is because electrons stop interacting with the object and go through the object and around the object. When they start doing research on superconductivity and quantum levitation, they also notice that energy is output by it. This is what I believe Nikola Tesla discovered. And this is why he was killed. He was not killed because he, it's not that he wanted to do something like destroy, it wasn't that he wanted to destroy what Edison had built. 
Edison, who stole most of Nikola Tesla's patents, it was that he had discovered free ener energy. Remember, he invented the radio, but the uh, Italian guy stole the patent before him. Again, a more stealing of patents, right? And he, di he died pretty poor. It's that he discovered free energy. And he said, energy surrounds everything on the planet. Energy is in, in, in all of space. Now this is a guy who was of course a super genius and discovered this how many uh, dec decades ago. And now when we're doing a test with the particle accelerator, they're discovering it, but I don't think they can uh, kill off all of the scientists uh, involved with the uh, super collider. They're discovering this Higgs boson in the Higgs field, discovered by of course uh, Dr. Higgs and named after him. When they finally discovered what the Higgs boson is, they're calling it the God particle. And why is this? It's because this particle is assumed to exist inside of our atmosphere, all around us, in space, in a vacuum. There's nowhere that this particle does not exist. It is omnipresent, if you will. So it exists in a vacuum, it exists in an atmosphere, it exists inside the sun, it exists inside the earth. We're all a part of it. We're all, it surrounds us. We're in it like fish. We just don't know it. And this is the thing that they are, have been trying to stop since Nikola Tesla. His papers were confiscated, burned, redacted, his laboratory taken down, deconstructed, removed with no sign. This, once we discover the God particle, this entire notion of oil, electricity, uh, natural gas, this entire uh, phenomena and, and the way our society works will be over. It'll be completely over as we know it. It will be the Armageddon that we think it is, that we keep predicting, you know, that the, the Mayans or the Aztecs or, or, or the, uh, the Jehovah Witness keep predicting as the end of the world. It will be the end of the world once we discover the Higgs boson. It will mean that you will be levitating uh, across uh, the cityscape. Your car will be levitating. It will be running off of the energy that surrounds us. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show. If you have any questions, make sure you put post a comment below. Uh, post a comment anyway because it helps me get the word out. Uh, now, I, of course, am not trying to get myself killed by reporting on this. I am just trying to enlighten people as to things that already exist and try and explain why we don't have hoverboards, flying cars, floating cities right now. It's because oil, gas, petrodollar are all in the way they don't know they don't want to give that up uh, just yet uh, because it's working so well for them and that's why you're also a slave to all of this now working basically for the petrodollar uh, as we go in day in and day out uh, like the video so that other people can see it as well thank you for watching the shikama live show